Hi, this is Nick Kuka, and I'm down at the Golf Performance Center with a tip on hitting approach shots. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to hit 10 7 irons. And after I'm done hitting 10 7 irons, we're going to go ahead and look at my data. And we're going to look at how far left I missed, how far right I missed, and if I have a tendency. Do I miss left more often than right? Uh, is the golf ball cutting or is the golf ball drawing? And then based upon my tendencies, we're going to pick a strategy for me that will work on the course today. Hope you enjoy. All right, so these were these 10 shots that I hit with the seven irons. And uh, I only left up shots that were pretty good. You know, a couple of them I hit thin, uh, one of them I hit a little bit fat. But for the most part, these were hit pretty good. And uh, as you can see, I was aiming for a target just straight ahead. And on average, I missed my target 17 feet and 11 inches left. Uh, so I was aiming, you know, I was trying to aim right at the flag. And uh, I was, you know, on average pulling them a little bit to the left. Now, overall, this little number here, spin access, access, what that means is if that's positive, that means the golf ball is curving a little bit to the right. And if it's negative, it means it's drawing a little bit to the left. Uh, for the most part, you know, on average, I was hitting it pretty much straight, but I can guarantee you that some of those were a little bit of a cut and some of those were a little bit of a draw. Uh, none of them were dead straight on the dot. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this one that I starred. It was the last one that I hit, and this was my furthest left shot that I hit. And you can see that it finished 46 feet left of my target. And uh, so it was started left and it kind of drew to the left, so it was a little bit of what I would call pull draw. And uh, then I'm also going to look at the fourth shot that I hit, that this one went uh, 166 yards and it was a little bit of a baby cut and it missed five feet, seven inches to the right of my target. Uh, so this was actually the only shot that I missed right of my target line. So everything was going a little bit left. Uh, now, even though I said I was aiming straight ahead, you know, I very well could have possibly been aiming a little left of my target, but regardless, we're gonna take a look at these 10 shots and it's pretty obvious that, you know, my dispersion, everything's going a little bit left today. So when I'm out on the golf course, I might pick some targets just a little bit to the right of where I normally would. Because uh, again, these were all acceptable shots. Some of them are going to go a little right, some of them are going to go a little left. We definitely don't hit it all dead straight. So with that in mind, I'm going to use that strategy on the course today. But next I'm going to show you a little tip on how I'm going to practice at the driving range. And this is all going to be about not leaving ourselves short-sighted. And so we're going to try to leave ourselves on the right side of the hole for the best chance at birdie or par. All right, so I'm back here on the hitting mat and I'm going to hit some more seven irons. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a game. So I have this target out here and uh, you can't see it from your angle, but it's about 165 yards away from me. And there's a flag on top of one of the greens at the driving range here. And I'm going to play a little game where I'm going to pretend that this is hole number one at Exmoor and the pin is back left. And I know if I miss any shot to the left, I'm going to be either in the left bunker or long left in the left rough, uh, you know, somewhere where it's not going to be a great opportunity to get up and down. I'm going to be short sighted and my short game would have to be really, really good to save a par. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tendency to pull the golf ball a little bit, and I'm going to adjust my aim a little bit to the right. And I'm going to play a little game here where any shot that finishes between the flag stick and 20 feet to the right of the flag, I'm going to count that as a birdie. And any shot that finishes between 20 feet and 45 feet right of the flag, I'm going to count that as a par. If I miss one more than 45 feet to the right, we're just going to mark that down as a bogey. But here's the catch, is any shot that finishes left of the flag stick, I'm going to count that as a double bogey. So I'm down at the driving range, I'm trying to put myself in situations that I would find on the golf course. So I'm going to do this nine times, and we're going to see what kind of score I would get in relation to par. So let me hit my first shot. So what I'm doing is I know my tendency is to pull it a little bit 
So I'm going to aim just a little right of this flagstick, and I'm going to try to keep it right at the flag the whole time. I don't want to cross over to that left side, or I'm going to be short sided. I hit it really good, but I don't know. It's going to be close. Let's go take a look. So sure enough, this actually, even though it was a great shot, it felt really good off the club face, it finished eight feet left of the target. Now, in reality, out on the golf course, that very well could be a short birdie putt, but for the sake of playing this game, remember my goal was to not miss any shots left of my target, so I'm gonna have to mark this down as a double bogey. I'm gonna give myself another chance here and see if I can put myself in a little better situation. So even though my last shot was really good there, it did finish left of the flagstick. So I need to pick a more conservative route on this next swing here to try to avoid a double. Okay, I'm feeling better about this one. I can see it start off to the right. I think we're going to be in a better situation. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so I was definitely worried about hitting this shot left. I didn't want to pull another one left of my target and leave myself short-sighted. So as you can see, I, I took a little more conservative route here, and I was able to actually start this right of my target, and I hit a little bit of a cut shot. This finished 37 feet to the right of the target. I'm probably not going to make that putt, but I feel pretty good about my ability to two-putt from there. So that's really the strategy that we want you to take out onto the golf course is don't put yourself in a tough situation. Try to pick a conservative line that will give you the best chance at not leaving yourself short-sighted. So when you go to the driving range, try playing a game like this. And even better, if you could come to the Approach Shot Clinic, we'll go over plenty of tips regarding how to hit your irons and your wedges a little better, and then also picking proper strategy for out on the golf course. Thanks, and we hope to see you this Sunday, 1.30 to 3 p.m. at the Golf Performance Center.